Hello, happy view. I'm going to wait a second here for some of the art block peeps to come in. Here they come. Hello, hello. Thanks for coming. Thanks for stopping by. I am going to share this really quick from my other account. All right, awesome, awesome sauce. Awesome sauce, hello! I hope everybody's been enjoying the art block today. Um, my name is Kathy Grillo, and this is all my lovely social media. So you can find me, hit me up, follow me, uh, make comments. I love it all, and I appreciate all of it too. So, let's see where we're at today. All right, so I use Corel Painter. And this is, woohoo, that's Jay. This is um, a digital illustration that I was doing today. Something easy because I just got off of the boat. I think I almost had a heat stroke. I took a shower, been drinking lots of water, so it's all good. But don't go boating unless you have lots of water and you have some food. And don't drink a bunch of al alcohol <laughs> unless you have food. Lesson, lesson for today, guys. <laughs> okay. So. <laughs> This um, illustration is actually going to be, I sort of took an inspiration from this. And if anybody recognizes her, this is um, Maddie Ziegler from Dance Moms. And she is um, posing in a Betsy Johnson dance outfit. So that's what I was working on. But there's Craze. There he is. I had a request before that to flip through some of my digital art. So let's have a discussion for a minute, folks. Let's have a discussion. How arty do you think digital art is? Is digital art art? Or is do you have a concept of it being um, copy and pasting and filling? Okay, Craze says yes. All right. Anybody else have an opinion on do you think um, do you think people who do, do digital art um, have Tricks or cheat? Okay, there you go. All right. I love these opinions. There are ways to trace, but you usually can tell. Um, people who use Photoshop is a photo manipulation program. I use Corel Painter, and it has Painter... Yeah, it has Painter, and I use this digital program the same way I paint traditionally. And the tricks that I can do, like copying and pasting, okay, here's, this is a dog portrait I've done. The tricks I can I have used of copying and pasting from, like, my sketches, I feel there's a tool that's available to me, just like somebody using a light box or tracing paper to transfer something. There are ways to cheat. But here's the lesson, folks. If you're buying something online or Etsy from somebody and they say it's a digital art and they're charging you 20 or 25 bucks for a piece of art, it's probably photo manipulation. <laughs> yes. And they didn't really paint it because I don't know anybody who would spend, you know, 20 some hours on a painting and sell it for $20. Just saying, folks. So I'll give you a little taste of what I do. And you can see how I've progressed. I've only been doing digital art since December. And this is some of my art. And you can see I um, have really just been teaching myself digital art since I got this for Christmas. So I'm still exploring. This is some of the things I do. So I'm still, I'm still exploring um, what this program does and how to use it, but I paint pretty traditionally. I just have a whole, thank you, I just have a whole um, art set in my computer. I have a whole art store. There you go. See, we need to collab. I did notice on Instagram that there's been a couple tattoo places that have um, followed me on Pinterest and Instagram. Just saying. But, you know, imitate, thank you. Imitation is um, one of the greatest forms of flattery. That's how I'm going to tend to look at it because you really can't spend your life um, going around and worrying about 
all that so much. So if you notice, I have some doubles, like there was that one and this one. I have been also taking my all my original art that I can and changing them into um, smaller, low-resolution images to be used for crafters. Then they buy these and make shakers and um, stickers and things like that out of them. And they like them when you can color them and uncolor them. So they could get a version of mine colored and make it. Or they can doubt, get this as a digi print, and then they can print it out and color it themselves. And I'm also working on some coloring pages. But like these guys, the little ones, oh, that's a logo I did. I took it from, I took it from this, and I turned it into that. Let's see. And I did that really quick for a friend of ours. This is my latest dog portrait, so you can see the progress of it. <laughs> um, this is... A friend of ours, Chad Cross's dog, um, Lucy Lou. And I just finished this one the other day. There's a cat. There's another one. Oh, that's when Prince died. There's my logo. This is an oil painting. More cats. That's my dog, Choo Choo. All right. So that's kind of what I do with digital art. And um, I've only really been doing this since... December, January, we probably got into it. So feel free to ask questions if you have any questions about anything. Thank you. I'm trying to explore a bunch of different styles. Like I, I like doing the oil paints. I just recently discovered them last week. And um, I really have been enjoying uh, the fashion designs because I'd like to do custom illustrations for people. Um, dance, you know, kids who are in dance, their parents might want one of their favorite cos um, costumes designed. Thank you. Or um, a prom dress or a wedding dress or something special like that. So I've been kind of exploring that. So here's an up close of the face I drew. I worked on this line work last night. I was actually up to 1 a.m. doing this line work for today. <laughs> so <laughs> dedicated. <laughs> All right, if you know anything about digital art, layers are huge. Layers are huge. So I really do not like using my canvas layer because in the digital art program, thank you guys, thanks for all the hearts. In the digital art program, this layer canvas is the only one, if you can notice down here, if I click on the layer canvas, I can't throw it in my trash bin. I cannot erase it. So I really do not like doing anything on my canvas except actually nothing on my canvas because I can't get rid of it. I always go one layer up. So you see I drew there. I turned the little eye off and it's gone. So this whole layer, this whole drawing is on this first layer up here. And usually I name them, but I'm not going to try to do it today. So now I'm going to start coloring this illustration. I'm going to add a new layer. And then I can just drag this layer and put it right in between. Now what this does is when I paint on this layer, I'm going to paint under my black line work and it will not affect it at all. So I could go out of the lines, I can smear it in, I just want to color it in when I do these illustrations. Now, when I do an oil painting, I will have a sketch that I follow, and I will paint on top of the sketch. Oh yeah, I drew this, it's not cheating. <laughs> I paint on top of the sketch, and actually, the only thing that is a cheat is I draw it, but then... I zoom way in like this. <laughs> after I'm drawn, after I draw it, I zoom way in and I spend hours. I spend hours erasing to make the lines super smooth and I like the little pointy ends. So I will spend lots of time doing that. It's the OCD in me. The OCD likes to have the lines nice. Yes. <laughs> I usually do it while I'm watching TV. That's a, I'll watch TV and do line work. That's a great Friday night for me. <laughs> oh, see? Yeah, I, I, I kind of like having it all in order. 
And so I'll go through and get meticulous line work when I'm doing um, a graphic design or an illustration because I'll go crazy. All right, the other cheat I do have, the other cheat I do have, here's a secret behind the scenes all. I do use my little dropper here. I do use that because I will come in here and get a sample color of her skin. And then I always see what it comes up with on my um, wheel. As you see, if I tap over here, the color will turn around. Um, this is Corel Painter, and I, I, I don't, I don't um, use the Illustrator I, or Photoshop. Um, this is what I got for Christmas, so I'm learning for it. And I really love um, Corel Painter because it is a painter program. I actually paint with it. I know I could do a lot of other stuff, but you know what? I probably wouldn't anyway because I'm a little bit of a, I like to control it. So right now I sampled her skin color, and now I'm going to adjust it because I usually end up adjusting the colors. I usually use my color sample for um, a starting point, I would say. And I'm using the picture when I color. I'm going to use the picture more or less as a um, guideline for the creases and things, just to kind of look at it. All right, so this little circle that's right by her eye, that is my brush size. And the cool thing about digital art is I have an entire art store at my fingertips. So I can go over here. And I have, see that little circle? I have a matching circle on my tablet. I have an Intuos Pro tablet and this nifty little pressure sensitive pen. This is the magic. Ooh. So when I go smaller, I go counterclockwise on this little tablet down here, my brush will get smaller. And so then I also have a whole. So I want this right here, actually, anyway. I want this opaque. So, see, I have all these oils. I have markers. I have erasers. I have oils. I have watercolors. I have pencils. I have um, brushes, different, all sorts of stuff. And each one of those have different type of brushes in them. So it is a whole entire store. For my illustrations, I'm actually using acrylic paint. Let's get painting. So I'm actually using acrylic paint. Oh, I, my layer's not under it. <laughs> Wrong layer. Now, see, that would have been a disaster. <laughs> I did that on purpose to show you. Shh. That would have been a disaster if it was a real painting. I would have been pulling my hair out saying, oh, what did I do? What did I do? What did I do? I just hit undo and it's gone like it never happened. And then I could come back and do it again. Instead of freaking out and worrying about the, the ruining the drawing that I spent uh, like two hours doing last night. Oh, nothing worse than spending hours doing a drawing to have like a drop of paint or something hit it, you know? Who's had that happen? Yes, it's like magic. There's uh, somebody who knows about the magic right there. I just saw Chris Murphy pop in and he knows about the magic. Now, Chris, what, what program do you use, Chris? Now, this is Corel Painter. I know you use something different. If you want to put it up and um, put a little bit of your, what program you use. And he does a lot of di more digital art um, that's more digital than me. I do digital art, but I treat it like painting. Thanks for coming, everybody. So I'm not really worried about staying in the lines at this point because I could come back and clean up anything I want. I just want to get a nice solid color on her to start, and then I'll come back and do shadows and highlights because, see, I have a magic eraser on this end, and I could come in and erase it. Right, nice, and precise to the line. So I'm just going to grab this and slide it over. So I'm just putting down a really quick color. 
this would be like if you were using your markers, even though it's an acrylic setting. I would I would put this part of the draw, drawing. Um, it feels like Copic markers, sort of. I could probably make this brush a little bigger and just go faster. I don't like using fill for this. Um, it's just too much. I'd rather just paint it. It's faster than playing with all the buttons for me. <laughs> Once again, it's the control factor. Uh, I never realized what a control freak I was until it came to my art. And then I get really, like, controlling of what I like and don't like the computer to do for me. <laughs> There's certain things I like the computer to do and certain things I just would rather do myself. So we're just kind of filling it in. And I will come back and clean that all up later. I showed you what, how I could do that. I will not bore any of you guys with all that too much, probably. I always say that, and then I'm like, I can't stand the lines. I end up erasing. <laughs> if you have any questions or you want to see something, um, just put it out there. I, I know it's been awesome. I, I've been watching. I was, I was watching some people's scopes today when I had connection out there. All right. So, that's the first, I always start with a medium color, and then I like to put a shadow and a highlight. So, I'm going to start with the highlight, and this is going to start determining where the light, uh, my light source is coming. And the light source is coming sort of from like the top here. So, we're going to have a little bit of highlight here, and on her cheeks, and the upper part of her arms, and then maybe a little bit down here to emphasize her shin, and I'm going to put some shadows. That's really dark. That comes from the picture. I don't like that one. That one's too dark. Don't like it. Don't like it at all. Alright, so, I just want it to be like a little tanner. I don't like that. That was really... Too shadowy for me. So I'm going to put a little bit in here. And I'm just kind of getting a shadow. And then you'll see the magic in a minute. Alright. So now my favorite part. I'm going to zoom back in. Come over here. Hi, everybody. Now I have this blender. And this blender is called Just Add Water. And that's exactly what it's like. It is like taking a brush with water on it. As you can see, if I press over here, it has no color attached to it at all. But if I put it on top of the paint that I've already put down, it is like adding water to my painting and it will blend my paint together. This is actually an illustration. I'm doing a little fan illustration here and I'll post it on my Instagram. This young lady is Maddie Ziegler from Dance Moms and she is wearing a costume, a dance costume that's been designed by Betsy Johnson. Yes, it's little Maddie from Chandelier. But she's all grown up, and I heard Maddie is doing, um, she's going to be a, a judge on uh, So You Think You Can Dance, I think, this year. Yes. Oh, here's all my info. I'll put it up. I'll put it up again. There you go. We'll take a little information break. This is me. Find all my info here. Feel free to take a screenshot. Follow me. Like me. Send me comments just to say hey or whatever. Or I like your art. I hate your art. All of it's all good. And then as a quick reminder, uh-uh. If you like art or are creative, feel free to join us on Little Dub's Creative Crew on Facebook. And here is our art block lineup for the rest of the day. So there you go, guys. I do not know sketch artist's name, so if I did, I would make a nice little 
I would have made a nice little, uh, oh, for my butterfly, which one? My business butterfly, that's, that's my biz card, that's my very first, um, that butterfly actually got me some recognition. It was used last month for Mental Health Awareness Month. It was used in a fundraiser in Florida. Ooh, you're stealing it. All right, I expect a 2% of your tattoo. No, I'm just teasing. I'm just teasing. <laughs> but if you take the tattoo, if you take the tattoo, and you can somewhere in there hide the letters K and G, that would be great. I think it was like down by Del Rey or something like that. I'm not I'm not exactly sure. <laughs> Just hide it in a wing or something. They don't have to know it's there. Who will now? Alright. So you can see how this is blending, and it's just my water. So then I will come back when I'm done. So the eraser is really big from before. And I'll just kind of go like this and go right to the line and clean it up. There you go, a tribute. Just scope it. Scope it and promote my page. That would be good. Then you can use it if somebody wants it. Alright, so I'm basically just adding water to my acrylic paints to blend it in and get the shading I want to get for her skin. And I like this blender because it gives me um, control, one thing. It's not like a, it kind of gives it a watercolor look without the um, unpredictable. I, I can't, that's my only problem with watercolors. I love the way it looks. I don't like not having control over it. So, this helps me. And I'm just kind of going through here. I'm trying to do this a little fast to get today, guys, because I'll probably... Here's the secret. When you see this posted on the website or on my page, um, I'm probably going to have another hour or two of work that I put into it. <laughs> Offline, offline, I'll be like fixing it all up. Hi, how are you? Thanks for stopping by. We're having a great time on the art block today. The replays, that I can't wait to go watch the replays that I couldn't see. Um, for a little bit there, my phone thought I was in Canada. <laughs> my name is Kathy. I am Kathy Grillo. There I am! That's me! But yeah, for a little bit today, I was watching it and um, I can actually see Canada from the corner of my street. So, we were out there and it's like, da -da -da -da, you're roaming, and I'm like, I am not roaming. I am not roaming. Because the Coast Guard would have told me if I was in Canada. I am not roaming. Oh, good to meet you too. Oh, so I had to like turn my phone off and reset my thing and it was just ugly. What's my favorite food? Huh. Huh. I don't know, good food. I like a lot of different food. As long as it's good. I like, you know, like I, go, I like going to Thai food and Chinese food and Italian and Mexican and I, I'm not, I'll try almost anything as long as it's cooked well. I like going to restaurants where I like seeing the kitchen. Like if they see the kitchen you can know things are like all made fresh and that's the kind of places I like going to. I'm not so much of like a, I don't know, I don't hardly ever eat fast food. And I'm not so much, oh thank you, well follow me. Follow me on all my things and you'll get to see all of it. If you go to um, Kathy Grillo Designs on Facebook you can see everything I've done. <laughs> Since forever. Well, not forever. Since January. I have a personal... I have some... Um, before I did digital art, I did pencil sketching. I haven't added a lot of that stuff in there because that's a whole other album. Oh, I think I sound so cute. I am kind of cute. I'm just a little old. 
<laughs> oh, that's all right. I'm having fun. That's what counts. I do have a dog. I have two dogs. I just don't have my second dog in my profile picture yet. Because I only got her a month ago. So I have Chewy, who's in my profile picture. And I have another little Shih Tzu named Coco. I call her Coco Puff. Alright, let's go back. And we can see how the shading is developing in here. When's my birthday? Hmm. My birthday is in August. I am a Leo. Rawr. Okay, and as you see as I'm erasing, because I'm on the layer, oh, see, I couldn't do it. Because I'm on the layer underneath, the black lines do not get erased. Thank you. Maybe you'll be a follower and you'll be around to say happy birthday for reals. I love my birthday. I celebrate it. I celebrate it for at least a week every year. I get a birthday week. I'm the only girl in the house, so I make my whole family treat me like a princess for a week. I don't cook. <laughs> I take a whole week. All right, I'm gonna do some a little bit of makeup really quick here, so I'm gonna need a smaller brush. My favorite holiday? Um, well, my favorite holiday used to be Thanksgiving, but since I've moved here, where I live now, um, my favorite holiday is 4th of July. Because my, my, um, my whole family comes to visit me for 4th of July because my town celebrates it awesomely. It's like a Mayberry. You like Christmas? I used to like Christmas too. But as you get older, um, and you're the one paying for presents, it's not as fun. I'm just saying. <laughs> Christmas now just seems like a big an obligation that I have to kind of like find stuff for people. And I have all these nieces and nephews, and I don't know what anybody wants when they're teenagers. And it's just like, oh my god, here's some money, go buy what you want, because that's all they really want. I remember my kids, that's all they really wanted was money so they could go to the store with their friends or whatever. Oh, you're back already. And so that's why I like, I like um, Christmas, I mean, I liked Thanksgiving because Thanksgiving was just about hanging out with your family and celebrating being together. Oh, thanks. I appreciate it. I'm trying to get her a nice little pink here and it's just not working right. Oh, it's not working right because I'm going to tell you what I was doing. I was on my uh, water blender. That's why it's not working right. It's not going to work for water. You need to have the brush. Oh, all right. So I'm just going to blend this in. Now, I do do custom illustrations, so like if somebody sends me a picture of them in an outfit, I can make one of these for them, and it would try to be looking, you know, I try my best to make it look like you, but it is an illustration, which means it's a suggestion, it doesn't have to be exact. I'm going to get her a little bit of makeup here. It's more about the clothes. And then what I do is when I'm done, it gets printed out on a canvas paper. And I take some real acrylic paints and I put some texture in it. And um, if there's glitter or something on your dress, then you get glitter on your, for real glitter, on your illustration. So that's kind of what I do with these. All right, so now we're gonna work on her hair. And once again, it's gonna be a darker color. 
and a lighter color, but we go to a new layer. So, I have to find where all my layers went. Oh, they got attached on the bottom over here. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Channels, layer. New layer. Now, I want, I want the hair to be on top of... Ooh, do I want... No. Ugh, do I want... No, I want it to be under the skin. Oh, yeah. Because it goes behind her, mostly. So we are move it down here. Move it, move it. Move it. Don't lose it. All right. Oh, I'm hot. I don't know, does anybody else have hot weather today? It was hot here today. Hi, thanks for joining. I'm just painting this illustration. Working on her hair now. I'm going to add in some streaks, and then I'll blend it all together. I think we were like 91 or 2 here today. And I was... You're in Florida, yeah. I'm in Michigan, so it was a beautiful day here today. And we got up early, and we were out on the water, and uh, it was just a good time today. So, I really don't want it to be black like that. I think I really am adjusting my colors here. I just kind of want it to be like a darker brown in here. It was great, but it just got super hot. As out, we have like a party island and we were out hanging out there and it just got hot. It was hot. So now I'm drinking water to hydrate myself again. Alright. I want to erase right under here so I can make sure I get the color. Oh, you guys can't even see where I'm at. Let me move it. Alright, there I am. <laughs> there I am. Now, this was an artistic license, too. I wanted to show the flip of her hair. In my reference photo, this hair is not in the picture. So, I can show you really quick. See? She has no hair over there. But... And you'll also notice I changed her face. I took another picture and gave her a different expression on her face because I didn't like that scream face. So that's my artistic license of saying, hey, I want to paint something different. <laughs> All right. So I'm just kind of basically throwing in like these stripes of color because you'll see in a minute when I blend them all together. They do magic. And do you believe in magic? Most of you probably are too young to know that song. Alright, so now I want like a little bit of a blonde highlight streaked in here. La la la. All right, so now I'm going to take my water blender. I want to make it a little bigger. And I'm going to add the water. And blend it in. That's too light. Let's see what the rest of it does. I think the yellow is too overpowering. So I need more brown. I need more... I want like this little red color, I think. Let's throw in some of this. So just throw in more color. Um, like I don't know who's new or you're not new. If you have any questions, feel free to pipe up and hopefully I'm trying to see them. I'm trying to look at the comments. If not, I will see the comment and know what to talk about next time. Or in another one of my scopes, if you feel like following me. This is, I do um, a bunch of different art. Do pet portraits. This is a fashion illustration. Um, I do some digital designs. Lots of fun stuff. Thank you. I'm glad it's interesting. See, for some reason, it might not... I swear, I think I'm on the wrong layer. Oh! Oh, I just noticed. Oh, oh, oh. See, there's the boo-boo. I was talking and it got messed up. It's okay. We can fix it. I was on the wrong layer, everybody. 
So that makes a big difference. You need to paint on the right layer. So I just undid it. <laughs> and like, I want to go up to the this layer up here, and I want to erase the yellow. Let me just erase it. Erase it. Erase, erase. Erase it. Erase it. <laughs> that happens sometimes. I'm talking, and my layers got messed up. But it's a good example of if you mess up, you could come back and redo it. Da -da -da -da. There we go, Miss Maddie Ziegler. Here's your hair. Okay. <laughs> so, has anybody else watched any of the other art blocks today? I hope you did. If not, feel free to go and, um, check out, if you look on Periscope and you look up, um, hashtag, you know how you could do the search now, if you look up L, L, D, D, L, D, C, C, or Art Block, you will see all of the Art Blocks, and this is who follows me for the rest of the day. We are on until 11 o'clock tonight, we have people lined up. So, follow, 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 and if you're interested in art, or you appreciate art, look us up on Facebook. At Little Deb's Creative Crew. We're a great family. We have a lot of fun. A lot of support. A lot of fun. Alright. So, once again, I'm kind of doing this sloppy. Um, because I don't have a lot of time. That's what people don't understand. I mean, art really takes more than an hour. So I'm just kind of like giving an example of sort of what I do in a little quick way and then I'll probably um, spend a few hours going back and changing it. <laughs> so I'm going to erase her earring and I want to erase her skin right here. Alright. You can see over here in the corner it's all about your layers. The layers protect you from dam damaging something you've already done on a different layer. So, if you can see this up here, that's not blending in. It's because it's on another layer. But I could go to that layer and erase it, and it will only erase that one part. It will not erase the entire painting. Okay. So let's zoom out and see where we're at. Alright, so I'm coloring her in. And now, we're on to the dress. Her dress is black. I'm going to put it on another layer. And I want the, the dress on top of the skin. So it's a top layer. It is up here. Right underneath my black and white drawing. And I'm going to sample some colors as usual and see where we're at. Oh, thank you, thank you. Actually, I want to be a little farther out. So this up here is my navigator. This box over here um, lets me see the whole picture as I'm at. And the little red screen is what is being seen on my computer screen right now. So I can see we're in relation on the drawing I'm at. I can zoom in and out, either with the zoom in and out button, or I could precisely control it with a slider. It also tells me my resolution, which I have this at a pretty high PPI. That's pixels per inch. And it shows the um, width and height of my paper in pixels, even though when I have it set up, I have it set up for inches. So, if this is interesting you, I'd love to have you follow me. And I follow everybody who follows me because I'd like to get to know you. Um, you can follow me right here at Kathy Grillo Art on Periscope. And here's all my other social media. Feel free to get in touch. Say, hey, I saw you on the art block.
I love it. I love hearing from people. I mean, you could just send me a message and say, hey, it rained today. And I'd be like, oh, hi. Thanks for telling me. <laughs> hi, Tina. There's Tina. What's up, Tina? All right. I want to make my brush a little bigger because I'm not doing a little hair lurk no more. No, no, no. And we're going to start. It's really black and I don't want it to be that black. I want it to be like shades of black and blue. So I'm coming over and I'm going to kind of do it like a bluey gray color and then build some black on top of it. So Because this is going to have like a shimmer and I'm going to show you. I'm, I think I'm going to do the top part separate right now because I want to show you how I, even before I print it out and add some embellishing, I do paint some of the texture on here. And the top looks like it's a sequin top. So I'm going to kind of throw this on here. And now that I have this base, I'm going to go to my black. So, I'm going to dial it down. This little strip here is like a pure black. And I'm just going to kind of fill it in lastly. I'm going to clean all this up later. That's why I do it under the lines, so I can zoom in and uh, clean it up. <laughs> all right. So I want these little creases in here to be really dark. As these are little creases on her hip. Now when you're doing an illustration, a fashion illustration, um, a lot of things are sort of exaggerated. I don't like that crease. They're exaggerated and it's kind of meant to be that way because you want to show where the folds are, where the creases are. It is not supposed to look um, ultra realistic. It is a suggestion of the outfit. So now I'm going to blend in. I don't like that color either. Um, da -da -da. You get like this purple. I'm going to blend in a little color here and then go darker because black is never fully black and it will pick up other um, colors that surround it, especially in a sequin top. So now I'm going to bring my water blender and I'm going to start blending it in, which gives it the little bit of the watercolor effect. And I'm going from the dark into the blue color because I want it to mostly be black, but the water is going to help me create like natural um, movement in her outfit. And so I'm smearing the black around and as it smears it starts getting the purples and all the blues and the things that are in the black. And I'm brushing these in the right direction because these little creases are really um, important because it shows the movement of the dress. All right. The more water I add, the more the colors blend. Um, it's going to be a little darker in the middle as it's not stretched anywhere. And where the material would be stretched, it's going to have a little lighter color to it, even though it's black. I don't want it to read as mega black because I'm also going to be painting the sequins on top of it here in a minute. All right. So I want to get these lines really quick. I do want these creases to be pretty black. Alright. And I'll come back and like this here will get all erased. So in the middle she has the sequins on her dress. It's almost solidly a highlight. And I am going to 
just totally dot this up. And these sequins go in between the dark creases. And they're kind of just showing where the light's hitting her body. So it's not the whole top. And that's why the creases were important. So I'm doing some of these this gray sort of color. And then I want to steal this really white color. Thank you. I like doing these. These are fun for me, which is why I did one today. I just finished a, a pet portrait, which is a pretty serious because it had to look all real and everything. And so I felt like doing something kind of fun today. So now I'm adding a, like a brilliant white in with the grayish ones. And that gives it a little dimension of, you know, when you see sequins on a dress. They're very color, different colors when they're hit. And now I'm going to just take my water brush and I'm going to dot them. So certain ones will sparkle up. Other ones will kind of fade in. Alright, so you can see them kind of like blending a little bit. And then the whites will be that little kapow of glitter. The gray ones are just like, okay, extra shimmer. Blended in with the blue. And I just kind of keep blending them in until you really can't see my dots anymore too much. They're just kind of um, like an effect. And that's like how you get a little bit of texture in here. And then when, if, if for some reason this was somebody's costume for real and it got printed out on the canvas paper, yeah, that's my pen hitting tap, 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 tap. I'm just tapping it. I'm tapping dots of water on top of my paint. And then the water will blend it. Um, if I printed this out on canvas paper, this whole top would then be um, painted with real glitter. So it would be all sparkly for real. Alright. Okay, now I'm going to actually take a little bit of black and dot it in to get some of the black a little more, a little shadow under here. Not really black. Try to get some form where it didn't go. Dot a little black in. Because the dress is black, the blue color is just um, underneath color. Because I didn't want it to be solid black, I wanted to have some of the different colors show through. Because black and white are never black and white. There is no such color as really black and white. They're all made up of different colors. And so we're just going to blend these in along the side a little bit. And I love this blender because I can really control how much water I add. And it's just like if I took a water brush and kind of touched my paint, blended it in, Okay, so I have like 10 minutes left, guys. If anybody has any questions, feel free to ask. Um, here's the schedule. This is who's coming up next. Take a screenshot so you can follow everybody for the rest of the night. Okay, hey, 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 hey. 10 minutes. <laughs> I guess... Uh, I'm going to guess one of my puppets had a little boo-boo. Is that right? <laughs> I'm guessing one of the babies had a boo-boo. We have a, I have a, how old is she? She's like 12 weeks old. Little baby puppy. Okay, so then it'll be the same thing down here, but this is tool. And so, usually what I'll do for the tool, I'm just going to do it really quick because I'll come back and redo it. 
Um, I'll come in on a different layer and do a real light coloring. And then I will water it down. Right. And spread it so it's like pretty light. And then when it's on its own layer, I should have done it on its own layer because here's the trick. Hang on. Let me undo it real quick. I have five minutes. I have enough time. Undo, 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 undo. Quicker to erase. I'm just going to erase it. Alright. So if I add another layer to get the look of um, it being see-through, I would go like this. Let me get my bigger brush. Brush size bigger. Alright. So I come in here. I'd fill this down. Alright, say. Just look at this little section. So we do the whole dress and say we have it like that. Then I could come over to my layers here, which somehow I had a big, big, and I could click on the layer that I'm on and take this opacity button, and I could slide it down, and then it makes it very see-through. So I can control it, make it a little see-through, make it real see-through. So then when I add another layer down here, and I click on here, mm, I'll do my airbrush, I'll get a nice airbrush under here. So here I have my background color, and I start airbrushing it underneath. Hi Floor. So if I get my airbrush color and I start airbrushing it underneath, on the layer that, layer 5 here, that is um, tool, I can control how much you can see through it. So when it doesn't have a lot under it, you'll be able to see somewhat through there. Or a lot of times I'll do a trick where I paint the legs up, and then you can kind of see a shadow of her body underneath the tool skirt. So that's a trick. There you go. All right. So here is where I'm at so far with Miss Maddie Zegler. I will be working on her. And if you like what I did today or want to see the finished product, please feel free to follow me on any of my social media. And I would love to hear from you and hear any of your comments and get to know you. And if you follow me here on Periscope, I always follow everybody on Periscope, at least for a while. So if you scope and I follow you and I get to know you, I will follow you. Um, and then, please, please, please take the time to continue following our art block here today. You can look up L, hashtag LDCC, hashtag art block. You should be able to find all the art block scopes. We started at 11 o'clock this morning, everybody. This is just what's left here tonight. So we went from 11 a.m. to 11 tonight. Bunch of great scopes with amazing artists. So if you look up these hashtags in the new wonderful Periscope search, um, you'll be able to find them all, watch the replays, heart them up, let them know you were there, show some love. It only takes a second. It takes a second to show some love. And if you're a creative person and are interested in joining a great creative group um, where we support each other and help each other out, or if you're just a person who really likes art and you want to help support artists, look us up at Little Dove's Creative Crew on Facebook. We're a great group. We'd love to have you join. We'd love to get to know you. So, oh, there's my sign. So that's kind of where we're at today. And I will be... Um, watching the rest of the art block tonight, yay, 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 and fiddling around with this and getting off, getting Miss Maddie Ziegler hair all cleaned up and looking pretty. <laughs> Thank you, Dandy. And then when she's done, she'll be posted on my page, everybody, so then you'll be able to see her. But this is just one of the things I do here. 
Um, people who follow me have seen my other art. If you watch the beginning of this scope, you will see the other art that I've done because I actually did a little sketchbook flip at the beginning. Did a quick little sketchbook flip. So, I know, I love it. I love this digital program. I love it, love it, love it. It's so much fun. <laughs> it really is. And I like it. I guess what? When I'm done here, all I have to do is save it and turn it off. And I'm done. <laughs> yeah, the oil effects were pretty cool. Um, let me show you really quick again what I've done. Oh, blah, 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 blah. Sketchbook. No, that's not it. There we go. So my oils are just, I just done a, um, did oils the last few times. So this is what I did last week. Yeah, this is the rose. And then I did, um, what else did I do? Hang on. I did, oh, Chad's dog. This is the dog portrait I did. Is that who it was? Makeup hits canceled after me. So there's nobody after me. We have an hour intermission. Um, Dav, are you or Craze or anybody going to hop on? And, um, oh, thank you. Now, these are one of the pet portraits I do. Oh, I, I probably didn't see it for a second, Craze. I'm sorry. It's hard to read. So, mmm. You'll do what's in the box in a few? Okay, I'll do a what's in the box. I, well, um, contact Deb or Craze if you want to crash in here really quick, maybe. Because somebody canceled. Oh, well, Craze, there it is. Somebody's volunteering to do seven, um, let's see. So, yeah, seven to eight the next hour. If you're cool with that. Put your, put your info up so I can tell people to follow you. Okay. So, do you want that hour? Do you want to do a little scope next? Do you want to hop on the block with us? Okay. Well, you could talk for as long as you, lay, you want. If you can do like a half hour, that would be cool. Or just show us some stuff if you want. That would be awesome. I think this is the second time... Uh, this person's, like, canceled on us, so I think, um, we maybe should, uh, not deal with that so much anymore. I don't even know who it is, so I feel bad if she hops in here. I just wish she was here. Yeah. So, put up some emoji, emojis, Charsha. Oh, it's a family emergency. Oh, yikes, oh. Yikes, yeah. Oh, no. Oh, no. I hope she's Okay. Okay. So, yeah, if you want to do a quick little scope, put up some emojis. Everybody follow Charsa Ceramics, and we will go and see her, and she's going to cover for a little bit of the time slot as much as she can. That's super awesome. I love how our friends hop in and help us out. That's the kind of group we, at, we are. Yes, follow her for what's in the box. Just put um, in your scope, in your scope, put, put hashtag art block, and hashtag LDCC, so everybody who's following can find you, okay? If you just put those hashtags in, yes, hashtag art block and hashtag LDCC, and then um, they can find you, and then um, you just have to, if you can tell them to find, follow Native Graffiti or something, that's cool. Or somebody will hop into your scope. Somebody will try to hop into your scope before 8, and um, Native Graffiti comes on at 8. Whoever was coming in next is um, canceled. So you could get, you have from 7 to 8 as much time as you can do. Um, and if not, hopefully somebody will hop in your little scope there before 8 o'clock and kind of say, hey, okay. And, you know, if you find somebody else to do from eight from 7.30 to 8, or if you just want to show us some of your work, you, you have as much time as you want, an hour. Not as much time as you want, but an hour. And you're the hero. You're the hero of the art block. We'll make sure Doug gives you a special mention. 
okay? Yip, yip, yay! Yes, everybody follow Charsa Ceramics. She's going to rock it out. She's coming in at the last minute and saving our art block from having a big old gap in it. And I love it, love it. Big hugs, big love, big love. Okay, um, it's already 7 o'clock, so as soon as you can get those hashtags up in your scope, you're on. Okay, no, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, everybody, let's go over to her scope and see what she's going to pull out of the, you know what, the her, out of her hat to show us. <laughs> All right, thanks for joining our block, everybody. Let's all go watch Charsa Ceramics and see what's going on.